In my opinion, HLOOKUP is like the less popular little sibling of VLOOKUP. Instead of finding the value in the first column of the search area and returning a value in the same row, it finds the value in the first row and returns a value in the same column. To use HLOOKUP, simply write equals HLOOKUP and specify the search value, the search area and the return row number. OBS, in most cases, you should write false or zero as the fourth argument in order to specify that you are looking for an exact match. So in this example, we can see that the search value is the car brand Toyota and the search area or range is A2 to C6. The return row number or index is three, which will return the value in the third row of the same column. And as we can see, this returns the value Ford. However, if we change the search value to red, it returns the value yellow. If we instead change the index value from three to five, it returns BMW. One of the biggest drawbacks with both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP is that they only allow us to return values to the right and down of the found value. Meaning that if we want to return values located to the left or up of what we are searching for, we'll have to use a different function such as XLOOKUP instead. Now if you want to learn more about how XLOOKUP works next, check out this video.